guys this is a good day today uh, i got a package to open uh, i'm going to share with you guys shortly but i'm looking at the ups driver right now and i'm waiting for him to come out that truck and give it here give me that box give me that box oh shit here he comes here he comes here he comes and today's going to be a very good day and i got a special video for you guys so let me pan this camera around so you can see what i'm talking about that's right guys i got mail from ola england today and i'm going to share that with you guys right now so let me set this camera up for you and we're going to dig in before i get into this box though got to get into my cup of joe right here so cheers to you guys i hope you're all doing well right now i i always say this on my channel i put it in the description i always tell you guys i hope you're all safe and taking care of yourselves through this uh, tough time that we're going through so hope nothing but the best for you guys cheers to all you guys we're gonna dig into the sucker right now so just as i'm unboxing this a little bit too i don't know how hard or easy that's gonna go for me but well so far it looks pretty easy so what happened was for this whole shit storm uh ended up on our plate i got a message well first it was um my buddy Stu who built me that custom seven string guitar he sent me a message through uh instagram and he said hey did you get that message from ola england i said no i didn't know anything about it he said yeah he left one on your uh, latest video and didn't know anything about it wasn't aware of it so i went and checked and sure enough there was ola he said please send me an email i sent him an email a couple days go by i'm on his premiere of uh, one of his faq videos he says hey kev send me an email so i said uh, apparently clearly you didn't get the last email that I sent you um, Friday morning and he said uh, you know send me another one or I said I'll, I'll reach out to you again and hopefully you get this message so I sent him a message right after that FAQ stream that premiere and uh, sat on it for a good five days six days uh, got no email back so I'm like, I don't know what's going on if I'm just my messages aren't getting through, whatever. So just a shot in the dark, I sent him an Instagram message and within 12 hours I got a reply back and I didn't know what this was about. I had no idea and I uh, thought maybe, you know, he wanted uh, my permission to use a clip from one of my videos in one of his videos. I had no idea what this was about. So he said, Kevin, I see you're a really awesome kick-ass rep for uh, metal music. I want to send you a solar guitar. So here we are and uh my my heart stopped i just i could not believe it so that's where we're at right now with this so i got a solar v because ola knows i love that washburn that i got over there the one that the company he was with and um i'm 100 percent transparent and honest with you guys that guitar i speak highly of it just from me being a player's perspective i do not blow smoke up any of your guys' asses that is the best guitar in my arsenal by far and i know this is going to be no different so what i have here because I'm rambling and shit, I just do that. We have a seven string FBB, so it's the uh, it's the V1.7 FBB. So this is this is the seven string that's got the uh, Evertune bridge on it, which I was very I'm very excited to try one of these. Um, this is going to be just a godsend when I go to do recordings. When I finally just keep going in that direction, keep getting better, I don't have to play around with tunings and all that. I was always curious about this Everton bridge and it's got the stainless steel frets. I'll go over all the specs with you guys as we do this. I know I'm uh, talking to one key to the damn guitar, I do too, but I feel that you guys need the information before I do all this stuff, so. All right, so it's box inside a box. This is unbelievable. I, Ola, I can't thank you enough for this, man. I Like, I wanna cry, I'm just so freaking happy right now. So, okay, comes in this very nice gig bag because the uh, Solar V6 string that I have of that other brand, um, same gig bag, really nice. A lot of thought went in this gig bag too. That's like another thing is like when Ola designed these guitars, you could tell he was a metal player just by all the things that he put in, not only just the, like the guitar, but the case as well. So I have a big bulky just oversized case for a flying V and it's nice and it's padded in the right places to where it's not going to get all banged up and a lot of thought went into all this stuff. This is just amazing. So there's the gig bag right there. Let's get this box out of the way. Let's get a, a soft blankie for my table. All right, guys. Here we go, man. Here we go. 
Let's open this up. I've actually been eyeballing this. Like when I, when I first saw the pictures before he actually released these, I drooled. I just drooled over this guitar. Like, oh my God, that thing's beautiful. It's evil and it's beautiful at the same time. So this is gonna have a transparent black burst in it. And what I've seen in the pictures is just like, oh man. All right, so we got, I'm getting the freaking goosebumps too. this off of here. This is how it'll arrive inside your uh, gig bag. Just like this. So double box and then you got all your packaging supplies in here. Padded in all the right places. Okay, let's get this, uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So you got this, this nice solid block in here. This is a very well out, well thought out uh, gig bag and I love it. It's excellent. So here we go, here we go. Feel it, I don't see it yet, I still feel it. Oh fuck man. Ola, really? God damn, thank you so much, Ola. Holy shit. Oh man. This is unbelievable. Wow. This is amazing. Dude, this thing is fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. Luckily that blanket's down there. This is unreal. Yeah, I'll share the specs and everything with you guys. I just, I, I need a minute. Just everything like the seven string that I got from Stu. Now this shows up. I got people that I look up to on YouTube reaching out to me. It's just this is unbelievable. Stop being such a pussy, Kevin. You're right. Yeah, I should feel it out. I should go get a guitar pick, right? I put my damn coffee. I need a drink. All right, guys, I'm back. I just I needed a minute just to had to take five because this is this is intense than any death metal song, any blast beat all offers. Like this is this is just a culmination of a lot of stuff. All just all the pressure built up and shit. It's it's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. So let me go over what I know of the specs. I, I still will share, uh, I'll still share the specs with you guys, you know, in a window on the uh, video as it's playing along. But uh, what I know so far, it's, you know, it's a neck through mahogany guitar, seven strings, obviously. This has the stainless steel frets. So these things are gonna just have killer life on them. Uh, I got an ebony fingerboard on here. And I get to try dunk, uh, I get to try Ola, your pickups. My other Solar didn't have them. It had the Mick Thompson signature blackouts in it, so I get to try your pickups. Uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to checking this bridge out too, and I'm still learning. I've been watching videos, just pulling up any information I can just to figure out how to use this sucker and you know maintain it and things like that. This color is just gorgeous. This has got the push-pull coil tap on it. I gotta feel out the knobs and everything and the switch. 
everything feels nice and nice and secure, nice and tidy. Uh, the tuners must be Solar Zone tuners. I've never seen these before. I'm still fairly new to a lot of this stuff. Uh, you know, like I'm a little bit older, and for a while there, you guys know I was just so up bodybuilding. That's where a lot of stuff that was coming out. I just didn't really pay much attention to. It's like I just I played guitar. I did all I did my hobbies, but I they were always in the back seat. So I'm still catching up, like uh, learning the ropes of everything. I'm uh, behind with a lot of this stuff. So I'm learning as I go again, uh, knowing what's out there and things like that. So I'm playing catch up, but it's never too late. You guys are the freaking greatest. Like, you have no idea how much all you guys mean to me. I mean, this stuff doesn't have to happen for me. It's just, uh, when it does, like, yeah, you guys saw. I mean, I did it on camera and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm not editing it out. This is, this is real shit, you know? It's, uh, yeah, you guys are just incredible. And then somebody like Ola that I look up to so much, he uh, reaches out to me and gives me this uh, to try out and see if I, I dig it or not. Or, um, well, he knows I dig the other model. This is just, uh, I, I'm at a loss for words. So this video will be the unboxing section. Um, I'll put the specs in for all you guys. And then part two, you know, I'll plug it in and we'll run it through my Boss Katana that I love to jam uh, in my living room, you know, for you guys. And I'll uh, plug in, I'll do a plug in with some uh, drum drumming demo too. So I'll, I'll demo with that as well. Uh, yeah, and we're just, I'm gonna rock the shit out of this thing, man. This is, uh, and this neck profile feels nice, too. Um, you know, it's not like flat, like a, like an Ibanez neck would be or something like that. Uh, it would be so, uh, it has the profile of like a, uh, like a BC Rich. Um, if you guys are familiar with any of the BC Rich ones, uh, the seven string BC Rich, so it feels a lot like that, but it actually feels not as wide, so it definitely feels like it doesn't have as wide of a profile, but it still has a little bit of that depth there, so this is probably going to add to the tone big time. But yeah, enough of that, I'm going to cut the video right here, and then uh, I'm going to share all the other stuff in another video, so it'll be a sequel where I will do, I'll demo this sucker for you guys, um, I'll jam some riffs out, I'll definitely put my heart out into this uh, guitar. Oh, I can't thank you enough. This is just amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I'm speechless right now. This is this is just crazy. Um, and despite all the chaos that's going on out there, I just I, I hope nothing but the best for Ola, you, your family, everybody else out there who's going through these tough times. Uh, you know, just keep your head up and do things like I'm doing. Um, if you're a guitarist, a musician, keep listening to music. Uh, Spend time on your instruments. Just something to take your mind off all the shit that's going on right now, because uh, that's this stu that stuff's just gonna pull you down and just you know make that make this whole experience of what we're all going through that much harder. So you just gotta you gotta occupy yourself with positive things and good energies and just to get yourself through this. And when you have conversations with people, make sure you're sitting up straight and you're facing them, talking to them like this. Don't be sitting back like this. Oh, this sucks. This is miserable. I feel miserable and you're eating junk food. No, sit up straight. Know that you're going to get through this. We're all going to get through this together and we're all going to come out on top and everything's going to be great. So um, I appreciate you guys watching as always. I, I freaking love all you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.